What's up you guys? So I am vlogging today because today is the first day that Nico went back to school and I feel like really out of sorts. I forced myself to go to the gym. I've been up since 7.30 for the last week and a half getting ready for like this earlier schedule because I feel like the first year I was full-time as a reseller, I completely tanked. Um, but how I tanked was like my routines and I would often like share my calls at first thing in the morning and that would kind of put me in like a lazy mode. And basically I'm trying to get myself into a new routine that kind of prioritizes my health also. Um, and then this year I want to do things different. I'm going to be full time with my business on eBay and um, Poshmark, but I also want to put a heavy emphasis on upcycling and repurposing stuff because I feel so strongly about like building a regenerative brand and I think that is what's going to set me apart but it's such a slow process and it takes so much time like practicing and testing out what works what doesn't so I just feel like overwhelmed you know I thought I would feel excited for my first day but I thought Okay, let's vlog because I don't have high hopes for today and I can't even wear makeup, which always makes me feel better when I feel kind of like, I don't know, a little off because I have this sty on my eye and you probably can't see it, but I can feel it like, I can feel it inside my eye. I go to the doctor tomorrow, but not for that. I go for blood work, but that's a whole nother thing. I'll get it. I'll do a whole nother video on my like most recent issues. I long story short I am the proud owner of another chronic disease <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> but it's not the end of the world and I just don't I like I put off talking about it because I don't like when people feel sorry or sympathy and anyway it's it's not that bad so let's get started I just got back from the gym I just got out of the shower I'm gonna eat lunch and then I'm gonna get going and it's already oh it's already 11 17 Here's my little coworker. Hey, have you seen Nico? Where'd Nico go? Did he go to school? Is it just me and you again? What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go to the post? <laughs> are you gonna go for a ride today? Are you gonna walk, you little lazy bones? Hmm? Are you gonna walk? You want belly rub? You want belly rub? Oh my goodness, girl. We gotta eat, we gotta eat, man. Check this out. I actually am back on eating good. We got eggs, we've got oven roasted potatoes and carrots and ranch on top because you should love what you eat and I love my sauces. I don't have high hopes for like this time that I have while Nico's in school because on the inside, I'm kind of a ma anxious mess because Nico was excited to go back to school. But me, like, I'm more overwhelmed and nervous about him going back than anything because there are so many unknowns. And because of his age, he's only eight, so he can't have the vaccine. So that just leaves a lot of, like, unresolved feelings and, um... It just makes me feel anxious and overwhelmed and I prayed so much last night so I could get some rest and I'm just trying to like let go and let God if you will and so my strategy is I write down um, I write down everything that I want to get done for the day and my list like these lists used to be crazy they used to be like 15 things or whatever and now it's basically like my top five things that I want to get done and anything else is extra. And some of them are really basic, like sharing my closet, photo and list eight things. And I didn't, I didn't write down shipping. So I like had to just write it down and then scratch it off because I don't know why, but that's just like how my mind is. If I, if I physically see what I've done, like I've done my workout, I've shipped the items. I mean, I haven't like physically taken them to the post office, but they're packaged up and ready to go. Um, if I can see the stuff that I've done, it just helps to kind of like build my momentum. So after I eat this, I'm going to photo and list eight items. But before I do that, I'll take you in my office and I'll just show you like really quick, like the eight items that I'm posting. 
So nobody actually knows this other than my husband and not even my son. I had sort of like a little bit of a, I wouldn't say meltdown, but it was like a little bit of a mini breakdown. It wasn't like in the past, nothing super extreme, but I just had to go get help, right? So I went to go see a psychiatrist and I got myself reevaluated. I am bipolar. I have been diagnosed, and this is the second time, as being bipolar. Um, so I'm not going to get into that other than to say, for that reason, I have to start prioritizing other things above just, you know, like if I would be on still on Instagram or on whatever other social media apps there are, even YouTube, if I spend too much time on it, I'll hear the message of just go, 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 hustle, 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 um, work, 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 build, 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 grind, grind, grind. And that really spoke to like the old version of me, but the newer version of me, I'm trying to sort of become a better version of myself and I know what it's like to hustle because when I was on the street that's all I did but I never really associated hustle with like a good thing I always saw it as kind of like a dirty thing or like a grimy a grimy lifestyle just like you're you're at the bottom and you're climbing your way up and you're desperate and you're hungry and you're hustling that's how what I associate hustle with so when I became um, a small business owner and I got listening to the messages that were put out there for like small business owner, entrepreneur. Um, I love Gary V and he's one of the ones I listened to early on and he would talk about, you know, just hustling and working your ass off and building and everything like that. But I still couldn't really seem to, to put hustle in a good context. For me, it just felt like I don't know, I just related it with my past. And so I've always sort of struggled with trying to like find what is the right path for me because I know Gary V, his message is super strong on social media and marketing because that's like what his he specializes in, right? And um, I love his personality, but it seemed like that didn't like really go with my personality. I tried social media. I really tried for, I think it was like two years and something wasn't clicking and then my mental health was starting to like decline and I started to decide like at one point okay I'm going to take a break from social media and I'm just gonna be off of it for 30 days and see how that goes and that 30 days turned into 60 days and that's blah 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 and I haven't been back on it other than YouTube but anyway I'm just trying to say with this new diagnosis, knowing that I am bipolar, but I'm also unmedicated, and that is with the approval of my psychiatrist, I can be unmedicated because I think the reason is because I went seven years without medication. And so she's seen that I fall into this, maybe like this unicorn category or something of like, okay, well, you didn't, you've not been on medication. You've stayed sober seven years. You haven't had like any suicide attempts or anything super extreme like in my past when I was on drugs. Um, so all of this to say, I have to I have to divide my time. The old me would look and be like, oh my God, it's 11.44. What have I done for my business? But it isn't all about money and it never has been for me. But the other thing is I have to remember it's not... It's not like all gonna happen at once. It's gonna be a slow process. I have to look at it like a marathon. The same with my training. I just have to show up three days a week and eat well and eat clean and eat mostly whole foods and have my little like one or two things that like donuts that I look forward to at the end of the week or funnel cake or whatever it is. I earned that, right? Because 80% of my meals were in the right categories. Um, and that helps with my mental health, but it's like, I just can't, um, I just have to do my own thing is what I'm trying to say. I have to do my own thing because my mental health matters more than ever now, because not only do I have the chronic disease of substance abuse disorder, or, you know, I just call it drug, drug addiction. I'm a recovering drug addict. I'm a recovering alcoholic. No matter how long I'm clean, I'm always going to struggle with that. I'm always going to have that temptation. I'm always going to have that 
inner like um, cravings and that if I feed that, I wake that beast back up. And if I don't, I have to do certain things to take care of myself so that I don't fall into those lows where I'm very susceptible to the temptation. And I have to be strong enough to always decline, decline, decline. If it's if I'm feeling weak and I'm invited to a wedding, I don't go because I don't want to be surrounded by 90% alcohol consumption. So, okay, at this point, I feel like this is turning into a little bit of a therapy session. Maybe I wanted to vlog today so I didn't feel so alone. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the other thing is like, I was kind of overwhelmed with feeling like I've been, I've been with Nico every day since the pandemic started. And I think part of me just like, didn't want to separate like, it was so hard being together all the time, but at the same time, that's like what I became used to. And when I dropped him off, I actually cried. And I didn't even do that when I sent him to kindergarten. <laughs> so it's hard. I'm just basically like, I don't know. I'm just trying not to lose it today, basically. And I'm trying to like let you know that I'm not doing the best, but I'm still trying, you know. I'm still sober. I just getting that diagnosis kind of like through um through a wrench into my whole plan because as I'm educating myself on bipolar disorder and what it means and things that I can do for myself it's becoming abundantly clear that I am doing a lot of the things that are helping me but I can't just be wishy or washy about it like before I would be like oh yeah you know like I'm gonna eat clean today and then tomorrow I eat whatever but now I'm like more dedicated to it because I know that for all of my conditions, arthritis, substance use disorder, bipolar disorder, eating clean is going to help all those conditions. If I can get the extra weight off, those joints aren't going to be aching as much because I'm not going to have, I'm not going to be obese, which is technically what I am right now. I fall into the obese category. So, oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm like talking your ear off. Let's get to work. Here's the first item I'm going to photo. It has these dogs on it. And what I, it's this blanket and the border has these ducks. And what I see this doing is I see this going in the home of somebody. It's also like a rough, kind of a rough texture. So I see this as like a throw blanket on somebody's sofa that like loves hunting or something like that. It's definitely going to have to find a unique buyer. So this is going to go up on eBay. I just posted these, but I wanted to show them because these were my most exciting find recently. These are a vintage pair of St. Laurent, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that word, but St. Laurent heels. They have been worn, you can see that, but at the same time, like they're really not damaged or anything. And why I love them is they have this like zebra mesh pattern it's super cool i love these so much okay on this one it's not really the brand but it is vintage um that's the brand i picked them up because of the style and sorry because of the color it's just like it's a blue color and I just really like that blue color and they're not jeans, they're like a twill fabric. Plus size vintage, it's always going to be a yes for me if I like the style. Another vintage based off style, the brand it's nothing fashion bug but I like this shimmery silver fabric. A basic like layering tank top. This is more of a basic piece but I like that it's 100% linen. The brand is decent, I like Tommy Bahama. I don't think this is vintage. I think it's a modern style. But again, I like the color. I like that it's linen and it's just, this is one of those ones that if it doesn't sell, I'll be glad to keep it for my own wardrobe. Okay, this one is called, here's the tag, New, New Romantic, New Romantics by Free People. I picked it up based off of style though. Um, sorry, my hands are so shaky. I haven't even had that much coffee. I just love the romantic kind of style of this one. And let's see what the back looks like because I don't remember. Okay, so there's the back. It's just pretty. I'll show you this one, but 
see if I can show kind of the movement on it. I just like that. Um, it kind of has like a fringy, it reminds me of like a flappery effect. <laughs> and the brand label was there and it's gone, so I'll have to note that. The interior is kind of like this black satiny fabric. I have not yet cleaned this, so I will have to work on this area and the interior. But So this one might not get posted today, but I just wanted to show it because I think it's super fun. I'm guessing this is probably, I don't know, I'll have to research it. Maybe 80s, maybe 90s, maybe earlier. Here's probably the last one that I'll do today. This is hard to describe because from the looks of it, oh, my nails are gross. Um, from the looks of it, this is like a metal, um, it's a pretty solid metal piece, but then this also is a metal, it's almost like a metal, I don't know, what would you call that, like a metal mermaid? Um, pretty sure that's not even a thing, but it's stretchy, but then it just feels nice, right? It doesn't feel like one of those cheap sequins belts, nothing against that if that's your style, but I like metal and I like things that are kind of sturdy and this felt like that and it's a cincher belt so it'll just go around the waist. Um, so yeah, this is for sure vintage. I found this lady in her house, she was getting rid of so many accessories and that's where I found all of the scarves. I found some shoes, I found um, belts, I found hats. I think I've already sold all of the hats I got from her. Anyway, she was amazing, she was so nice and I found so many cool things at her house. I am working through this stuff because I have 40 things right now, I think, and I really want to go to an estate sale on Saturday, so I'm kind of like, that's my light at the end of the tunnel, that's my reward, so I'm going to get to this. Okay, so I'm going to set a timer for myself for pictures, 90 minutes, and let's just see how this goes, because for myself... After about an hour sometimes, 90 minutes is kind of pushing it. I start to lose my focus and I start to lose like my efficiency. So 90 minutes, whatever I get done, I'll show you at the end. And I was feeling really tired, but that's to be expected with going to the gym. I think I'll get used to it as I keep doing it, but for now it is what it is. I decided to do makeup from here down <laughs> because this is going to be in the pictures and I don't know, it just made me feel a little bit better so I did that. Now I'm going to go share my closet. Spooky. I'm getting ready to heat my leg. Why is this not working? There we go. Okay, I forgot my stylist. I'll be right back. If you are also a 37 year old trapped in the body of an 85 year old, heat is your friend. <laughs> Anytime my leg is hurting or my back, this knee is what gives me the most trouble. Then I just heat it for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna share my Poshmark closet and I'm gonna do something kind of fun which is Noom taught me temptation bundling, which I've talked about before. Basically, I put something that I don't like with something I do like. I don't have a Poshmark bot. The bots that I looked into, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was tempted. I was tempted. But every bot that I looked into, the terms of service, it basically said this is against Poshmark policy. Now, Poshmark stance on it. I don't know, like, has that changed? It still feels wrong to me. And because it feels wrong to me, I choose not to use a bot. If you use a bot, no judgment to you. I just can't risk it because I love selling on Poshmark. It's my absolute favorite platform. Until they come out and say like, you can use a bot and we're okay with it. Until they actually specifically say that, I probably won't use a bot. So what I do is I put on a podcast I like 
and lately I've been listening to this. It's called Pre-Loved Podcast. So like if you're into vintage or upcycling or just like the whole learning about more like sustainable fashion and all that, like I think this is a super upbeat, fun podcast to listen to while I share. It makes my sharing more enjoyable. And then my mind has something to kind of listen to while I'm sharing. So for that reason, I don't mind the sharing. And then I tend to do this like instead of in the morning, I find it's more beneficial to do it when I'm starting to feel a little bit fatigued because it's kind of like a little treat to myself. It's a little micro break. It takes me 30 minutes to share my closet. I can listen to half the podcast. Over there, I've got my coffee and protein powder mixed with some almond milk. So that's also like a little treat to myself just because it'll give me energy it'll just make me feel good um yeah so that's what we're gonna do now truly it was kind of this like and anybody that watches this video thank you so much because what youtube is becoming for me is it's becoming a creative outlet for me to reach out and just kind of like be myself and good, bad, ugly, everything in between, boring, exciting. I'm hoping to just kind of share as I go along like what I learn and how I grow and evolve and just the fact that like you'll watch a video of me like this and I'm not in the best condition and I'm kind of struggling and I'm not always feeling like upbeat and I'm definitely going to have my highs and lows especially now being bipolar i'm very aware of like why i was having such highs and lows but i just appreciate the fact that you watch and you comment and you encourage me and you subscribe and that really does mean a lot to me so thank you for being here and if you have any like suggestions or things that you want me to make a video on or you want me to talk about drop it in the comments or send me an email. I leave my email in the description because I know some people are a little bit more private and I'm like that too sometimes. Like I'll watch YouTube videos and I just, I don't know, like I just won't want to comment publicly but the video did something for me and I have received very heartfelt messages for some of my addiction themed videos and so thank you so much for taking the time to write me and taking the time to reach out to me because that does mean a lot and I am here to offer any sort of help that I can but at the same time just know that like you're helping me a lot too because a lot of times I feel like really low or like today I'm just feeling super alone and having this outlet means more to me than you may understand and so I just wanted to say that. Oh, like very emotional today. I'm so sorry. Hey, shipping partner. You like go for rides, huh? Yeah. Ship. And we're gonna go grab your friend. You see, I scratched myself right there. <laughs> I was holding up that blanket for a picture. Uh. Okay, so today, honestly, like, it didn't really go that bad. I don't feel as worried, nearly as anxious or worried as I did this morning. We're gonna go pick up Nico. I like to go with Bella because it makes the kids smile when we go pick him up and she's in the front seat. Let me see if I can vlog here discreetly where <laughs> nobody sees what I'm doing. I'm like waiting in line to get Nico. Someone is less than amused with my, um, vlog here. It's like a W-A-L-K. Like if he's able to keep going to school, I feel like I'll get better with my time management. Where, like where did that 90 minutes go? I have no idea. All I know is I had a snack, I had another coffee, I wasn't able to stay focused on pictures, so then I decided to just stop at five items. I took him to the kitchen, I measured him, I bagged him up for inventory, so then when Nico goes to bed tonight, I'll be editing my pictures, researching the items, um, and then posting them on eBay and Poshmark, some just on eBay, some just on Poshmark, and yeah, that's it. So. Not, <laughs> I don't think that I know my schedule yet, but this is just like what the first day looked like. And so thank you for keeping me company because I was 
feeling so like alone and overwhelmed today, but I'm feeling so much better now. So yeah, and I will see you next time. Peace. Love you.